<laughs> How about that? All right, former Ohio State Buckeye Aaron Kraft and his family have been in Trento, Italy during the coronavirus outbreak as he plays for one of the professional teams over there. Yeah, we're told that they are safe, but this has definitely been an emotional experience for them. Whitney Harding spoke with Aaron today about what life has been like in a country measuring deaths by the hundreds every day. Whitney? That's right, guys. I mean, naturally being so far away from friends and family for Aaron and his wife has been a bit unsettling. He spent four years here at Ohio State making a name for himself on the basketball court. Now he's trying to do that in Italy. And look at this map, if I can show you of how close he is to the hot zone where that red dot is. That is where Aaron lives in Trento down here. That's the Lombardino region. That is where most of the outbreak is happening in Italy. So about 100 miles from there is where Aaron lives. But despite it all, he has has a perspective that should be admired. After a standout career at Ohio State, Aaron Kraft has found a home playing professional basketball in Trento, Italy for Aquila Basket Trento, a place he feels comfortable. Honestly, it's just it's been a great place. The people have been great to us. My son was born here last year, so this city will always have a part uh, of the Kraft family. That comfort has been tested over recent weeks as the coronavirus spread, with the worst outbreak being only two hours from Aaron's home. Honestly, it was a slow progression. Like, I think things in the in the states happened really fast. Yeah. Like, in 24 hours, everything was canceled. And that just wasn't how it worked here. Um, we actually played a game in Belgrade, Serbia, um, at the beginning of March. After that, games started to get canceled, but Aaron said the team still practiced for about a week with no idea if they would play. Every day for a while, it was like, all right, what do, what's going to happen? And like I see, I just, that's, and that's where we are now. We're, I think we're day nine now, day nine for us of lockdown quarantine. Aaron says grocery stores and pharmacies are open, but that is it as the country spirals with 627 reported deaths in the last 24 hours. The travel bans are also getting more serious as Aaron says his American teammates are coming back today as they've been told if you stay, you might be there indefinitely. Yeah, that, that sent some ripples through this household. We decided to stay. We thought it was in, it's in our best interest to stay health wise um, from a contract perspective. But it's not easy. Aaron believes staying sane during this time is all about perspective, and that's something he's focusing on every day. What can we get out of this with our extra time at home? Um, that's, the, that's a big question that my wife and I keep asking ourselves. You know, what can we be doing together? What can we do, be doing for our marriage? What can we be doing for Owen? Where do we find value? What, what, what defines the value I have? Because right now, a lot of things have been taken away. And one of the positives Aaron has found is being able to see his son Owen achieve different milestones. He's almost walking. So Aaron is happy that he gets to be home to watch him take his first step, something he would have probably missed traveling and playing basketball. Live on Ohio State's campus, Whitney Harding, NBC4.